News, nominated for overall and news excellence. CBS 12 News This Morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to CBS 12 News This Morning. Today is Tuesday, November 29th. And here's a look at your morning rush. It's amazing. I just can't understand how they all started uh, and, um, and why. I just don't know. Heartbreaking. It, it is. It's tragic. Yeah, we are following this breaking news. Gatlinburg on fire. Flames breaking out in a popular tourist area in Tennessee. Evacuation still happening right now and uh, including an aquarium. Columbia police say five people have now survived a plane crash with 81 people on board, including a Brazilian first division soccer team. Officials say that the team was heading uh, to a regional tournament for a final when that plane crashed. I'm Melissa Howell in Belgrade. An early morning shooting has left a young man in his 20 dead. Police still investigating to piece together what unfolded before that shooting. And happening today, the driver accused in a deadly school bus crash in Chattanooga will be in court. Jonathan e. Walker charged with vehicular homicide for the six elementary school children who died in that crash. Here's Chris with Weather and Traffic Together every 10 minutes. All right, here we go on a nice Tuesday morning, a little warm and breezy outside again, and starting to see the little violet and purple in the sky right there. We're almost an hour away from sunrise. Sunrise time is until 651. Right, it's a nice quiet morning for us. We do have a little breeze out there, and with the breeze, a little tiny showers are trying to make it, trying to get here. They're still about 30 miles offshore. Been tracking them all morning long, and they keep getting smaller and smaller, so maybe we'll get by without a shower. But if they do get here, they'll run in here about West Palm and maybe North Palm around 8 o'clock this morning. That's it. Meantime, very warm out there. Vero Beach, normal low is 59, 71, 12 degrees above normal. West Palm is 75. Our normal low is 63. Already warm outside. Breezy too. Tracking all your Tuesday weather ahead in a minute. Let's look at traffic. Morning, everyone. One minute after 6 o'clock. Moving well on the roads so far. Only just one reported crash, but no delay coming along with this. This is 95 southbound. As you're heading through Jupiter, just beyond the Donald Ross Road exit. Again, no road block and therefore no delay. Hey, you know who's here this morning? Traffic Jam Sam. We love Sam. Let's check in with her who she's on the road this morning. Sam, how's your drive going today? Good morning, everyone. Smooth drive out here so far. I'm out here on I-95 heading south through West Palm Beach, and I'm not seeing any issues, so we are in great shape for your Tuesday morning drive. I'll have another update out here in 10 minutes. 602 is the time, 69 degrees in Stewart. And breaking news this morning, most of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, evacuated this morning due to wildfires. Yeah, those evacuations are continuing right now. Let's get to breaking news anchor Chantel Middleton, who has a look at those fires. Chantel. Suzanne, I want to show you two things right now that will give you an idea of what's happening there at this time. This is that incredibly intense you wildfire you're about to see sweeping across Tennessee right now. Oh, Gatlinburg, that is a huge tourist attraction. And those tourists are being forced to leave.